create a fantastic 3D tube text. In this tutorial we will see how to create this style of lettering with the mixed Adobe Photoshop brushes and pen path tools. Firstly, start by creating a 3508 pixels by 2480 pixel document with a resolution of 300 ppi. Create a gradient in the background layer with the gradient tool. Select radial gradient from the properties bar. From the gradient selection window you can load more gradients. Once you have marked the pack of gradients to be added you must select the append option. Otherwise it will replace this new group with those that already exist and lose all those stored, so please be careful. As for the type of gradient, choose a gradient with three colors to generate variation in the edges. Drag from the cursor from one corner to the other to generate a white gradient as a background. Turn off the layer. Create a new layer and with the elliptical select tool make a circle to the size you want your brush width to be. Apply a gradient with the same colors. Deselect from the Select, Deselect menu and in the Layers window activate the Lock Transparent Pixels option. This allows you to paint without leaving any hollows since the rest is transparent. Change the colors using the Gradient Picker for the second foreground to transparent gradient to add some extra color to the edges of the circle. Holding the ALT turns the cursor into an eyedropper. Select the orange color to add a little more by dragging from the outside to the inside of the circle. Add a little blue, select a dark blue, add a little light with yellow and emerald on top. Select the Mixer Brush tool, which is inside the Brush Tool group. Select from the Properties bar a regular brush from the General Brushes folder. With the Current Brush option, click Load Options and uncheck the option Load Solid Colors Only and check Clear Brush. In Mixer Brush Properties, select Dry, Heavy, Low, leaving the parameter it proposes and uncheck the Sample All Layers option and increase the set smoothing to 15%. Locate the center of the circle. If you do not see the diameter of the brush, it is because Caps Lock is activated, deactivated. Match the brush diameter using a key combination, Ctrl, Alt, left click. On PC is with the right button and drag horizontally to adjust the diameter of the brush. Dragging vertically while pressing Ctrl Alt adjusts the hardness of the brush. It is better to start with a small diameter and increase the diameter to the perfect size. Once it is the same size with the Alt key pressed from the center of the circle, click to define what you are going to use to paint. Create a new layer and paint with this defined brush tip. To adjust the spacing of the brush for a much smoother brush stroke, go to Brush Settings window and in the Brush Tip Shape option at the bottom, set the spacing to 2%. At 1%, the brush stroke have tiny spaces that interrupt the flow. To test the look, select All using Ctrl Command A. Hide the selection using Ctrl Command H and delete with a backspace or delete key. Turn on the background layer to see how the brush stroke integrates with the background. Select the pen tool in the properties, make sure the path option is selected. To better see the path, turn off the background layer. Add anchor points to hold to drag and remove the direction points and create curvature in the shape. To move and modify the anchor points or direction points, hold down Ctrl Command key and hold down left click while make the adjustments releasing only when you are satisfied with the modification. 
to hide the direction points or remove them, hold Alt to use the cursor and left click on the anchor point to hide the direction points or click on the anchor point and drag away to create direction points. Once finished with the lettering, open the path window and double click the work path to save the path. And with the Alt key press, select the option stroke path with brush so that the dialog box appears and select the tool with which to outline the path. Modify the shape of the O, Ctrl Command C to go back and also the brush contouring direction. To change the direction of the path trace, the path needs to finish on one end or the other. To switch these ends, activate the path and select the anchor point from where you want to trace to continue and thus finish. In Pen Tool, hold down the Ctrl Command key and mark the end point and continue adding points. Activate the background and adjust the size with Ctrl Command T to integrate it. To add another tube that intersects the word with varied thickness at its end and therefore giving it more three dimensionality. Turn off background again, generate a new tube path using the pen tool. Once complete, create a new layer, apply a slightly smaller diameter to the brush and select a brush with hard round pressure size. From the path window with the Alt key press, select the stroke path, marking the option of the simulate pressure in the dialog box. In the layers window, add a layer mask to the layer with the new tube. Load tube text layer selection by clicking the thumbnail while pressing Ctrl Command key and hide the selection to better see the edges by pressing Ctrl Command H. Paint in the mask using a black brush with defined edges, hiding parts of the new tube to generate the effect that it flows in and out of the word. Activate the background layer and apply a different coloring to the tube that intersects the word. In the layers window from the icon with black and white circle, create an adjustment gradient map layer. In the properties of the layers window, select the clipping mask option and choose a gradient combination that contrasts with the colors in the word tube. And there you go, it's all done.